In this country, one veteran every 65 minutes dies because of suicide or from suicide. And on the Treasure Coast, a man is working really hard to let those who are at risk know that they're not alone and that help is out there. WPTV's Chris Gilmore with more on the veteran promoting mental health on the home front in a unique way. Military veteran Kevin Klepak says he feels most at home on the water. I grew up down here. I grew up fishing. So we caught up with him in his natural element on a boat in Vero Beach. Klepak is retired from the military now where he served as an Airborne Ranger First Sergeant. But while he was active duty at Fort Campbell in Kentucky, being on the water still brought him peace. It kind of just melts the day away. He wanted to share that feeling with others and invited several soldiers for a fishing trip and unknowingly ended up finding his passion for helping service members dealing with wounds we can't see. I didn't think nothing of it, and then he stopped me, and he's like, no, really, thank you. And I'm like, well, what's going on? And he was just like, well, I was going to go home and kill myself tonight. And, and that really hit me really bad because uh, suicide in the uh, military is just astronomical. And so Wounded Waters was born, a nonprofit helping fight mental illness amongst veterans finding themselves lost in the transition to civilian life. According to the National Institutes of Health, as many as 500,000 U.S. troops who served in Iraq and Afghanistan wars over the past 13 years screened positive for post-traumatic stress disorder. Veterans like Ingrid Hernandez. It was a relief, you know, because I think a lot of times there's a misconception on how you look, you know, how you present yourself. Inside, your heart is broken in pieces and you just feel like there's nowhere to go. She's not alone. Hernandez, a Bronze Star recipient and Iraq War veteran, has been on multiple wounded water trips and says it works. It's just freeing. I mean, you can literally, when he puts it full throttle, put your head back, let the wind hit your hair, and you just feel relaxed. And empowered. Hernandez now organizes her own PTSD support group for those dealing with similar issues. Tom Metzinger, a Marine Corps veteran and current therapist, says he also works with veterans after seeing like-minded veterans show up for him when he needed it the most. I had some darker times and uh, got involved pretty heavily with substance abuse. And I started getting some uh, treatment, you know, through the military. And the guys that were in were uh, were veterans. Last year, Klepak took 94 veterans and first responders out on his boat. And this year so far, he's at 72 with plenty room for more. Metzinger says what Klepak offers goes beyond the therapy couch and into the real world. Because this is where it's at, you know, going out in town and helping. You can have groups. And you can have therapy sessions, you know, uh, all day long. But the magic really happens is when we got when we join together and we go out and actually live life. Getting vets out of the dark and on the water, Klepak says it makes a huge difference. PTSD, it, it it's, a, it's and suicide is just it's a huge thing. So and just the littlest thing or littlest gesture could save someone's life, and you'll never know about it. A man and his boat turning the tide on a troubling problem. In Vero Beach, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5.